So now we're doing the sealed forest here. And if we go a little bit further, we get more rewards. So let's go a little bit further. Now, okay, this is this is pinging at me. Why? Click to end the current cycle. I don't want to do that. It says the blight storm is coming. You can embark one last time and try to reforge the seal or click on the compass icon and wait out the storm. I don't want to wait out the storm. I want to try to... What would be the advantage of that? Why would you do that? Hmm. Oh, it's only forbidden glades can be found? Holy cow. We haven't even opened a forbidden glade yet. Maybe they're not as bad. Like when I when I first saw that dangerous glades were a thing, I was like, oh, well, we want to hold off on going there. But they've really been perfectly fine. They're actually kind of just better than the normal glades. Anyway, forbidden glades might be more uh, harmful, though. Okay, so 18 food or 36 food. Looks like everything else is the same. So let's just go here. Now, I don't know what these conditions are. Here we go. Okay. Unnatural erosion. All resource nodes have fewer charges. Minus five for small deposits and minus 20 for large deposits. That's pretty... That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad for us. Uh, glades have a lower chance of containing fertile soil. That's not as big a deal. As long as we get some. Like, I haven't been using all the fertile soil that we have anyway, so... Uh, they have a half... Oh, minus 50%. There you go. Half chance. That's perfectly fine. That actually means we'd probably just build on everyone now. Uh, shifting paths. All trade routes are 30% slower. We still haven't unlocked trade routes. I don't know how those work. So that doesn't hurt us. Nice. This is the only one that really is a concern, is the unnatural erosion. Our options are beaver and fair harpies, or just beavers. Uh, pottery, skewers and roots. Hmm... I'm not a fan of pipes and pottery right now. Although pottery's not bad. Maybe we could get going on some alcohol stuff. Yeah, let's take the beavers and the harpies. And then hopefully we get humans as the last one. Just because they share the clothes and the biscuits. I like that. So we'll click on them. I wonder how we unlock the third. Obviously that must be a smoldering city upgrade. And I think we'll go with the ye old building supplies. Stick on Pioneer. We will go up in difficulty at some point, like right now, <laughs> except for that first run of mine. Uh, it does seem pretty reasonable, like like we're, we're doing quite well. We did quite well the past couple runs. Uh, gift from the woods. These seem to be the ideal conditions in which to create amber. Gain five amber every drizzle season, plus an additional five amber for each hostility level reached. Cool. So we just get free amber. That's good. Helps with the trading. Warm welcome. Increases reputation gain from resolve by 100%. Okay, we can certainly make use of that. Uh, let's get some clothing going and and then uh, biscuits if we can. The rampaging storm, right? That's the usual. Humid climate. The cl humidity in this region is unbearable. Fuel consumption in hearths is increased by 20% for each hostility level. That's pretty big. That is a pretty big detriment. Hmm. No contact. Harsh weather conditions make it impossible to reach the citadel. Gaining reputation doesn't lower impatience during the storm. So, oh right, I see. Humid climate is only active during the storm, so not as bad as I was thinking. Uh, so yeah, we still don't want to be gaining reputation during the storm. That's fine. And cold snap. Villagers with this effect have a plus 50% chance of consuming double the amount of food during a break. But uh, to prevent it, we can have complex food. Which... I don't know if that includes biscuits. Maybe that's pies and things like that. Not sure. And then the three effects that we already saw. Unnatural erosion is the, the really hurtful one for us. All resource nodes have fewer charges. Minus five for small deposits. And minus 20 for large deposits. We don't usually get to a point where we get to use the large deposits. But obviously that's kind of a big effect. If we ever do need to make use of them. Uh, we could... Oh, what's this? Consumption control. Here we go. Okay, so we unlocked this last time. With the smoldering city upgrade hmm so we can tell people not to consume certain things I'm not gonna worry about it it probably is useful to, to do stuff with this but I'm I'm too small brain to figure that out right now I'm going to look at our possible buildings so distillery is a maybe oh flower there we go flower coats flower 
of course we get all the flower options this time. Uh, we are certainly going for biscuits. Two of our people like biscuits. It's very possible that we'll get humans as a third, and they would like biscuits as well. So let's just take this. Uh, I don't see reason to pick the provisioner over the rain mill. We'll take the rain mill. We definitely want to be able to make coats, so the artisan would be good. But maybe we get the clothier, who just is better at making coats. So rain mill for sure. Uh, okay, so of these three, eh, I don't feel I need to go for coal. We had we had a bunch of stuff that benefited from us making coal last game, and we never even built the kiln. Well, because we found a lot of coal around the place, I guess. But still. Forager's camp, uh, herbalist, and herb garden. We could go for herbs. No, no, no. We could go for herbs, but we want to make grain for biscuits. You make flour from a few things. I think... What else? What can you make flour from? You can make flour from grain. Uh, I'm not sure what else. Let's take the herbalist camp. We'll take the herbalist camp and we'll aim for hopefully just a small farm uh, so that we can get grain from that. Kiln, brickyard, leather worker, and distillery. So leather worker for fabric is nice. And water skins in case we do make use of the distillery and stuff. Brickyard for bricks is pretty good. How much do we need that? Hmm. We can make bricks. Oh, we can make fabric as well. Hmm. So the argument I was about to make there doesn't really make sense. Distillery, wine, and barrels. Although barrels require copper, right? That's not great. The brickyard can make bricks and pottery. So if we do want to go with wine and ale, we can always use the pottery from the brickyard. So we'd want a lot of coal for taking the brickyard, obviously. How does this produce coal? I guess it's just coal from wood, right? Uh, that would make sense. And it can make jerky and bricks as well. Uh, it's not like we've ever run out of bricks before. Oh, this is kind of tough. Maybe we take the kiln. Just for making coal. I imagine it's more efficient as a fuel resource, and we do have the hostility thing that says we consume more fuel during the storm. So let's take that in case we need it. Oh shoot, that just feels like a waste though, because wine... They liked alcohol stuff. Hang on, we can actually check. Sorry, I don't have to guess. Um, Harpy housing... I education... Oh no, okay. Harpy's liked tea, right? I thought tea was one of these things. What is this? Other summary. Combined effects. Others. Okay. Okay. Alright. I misremembered, I guess. Uh, blueprint. This is kind of a tough one. Kind of a tough one. I'm spending too long thinking about it. Let's just pick... I was about to click bricks there. Uh, let's pick coal. Whatever. Alright. So first things first. Get ourselves a woodcutter's camp. And we have five beavers. Maybe we start with two woodcutter's camps right off the bat. Uh, where are we going to be opening up? We've got normal glaze down here. Let's start with normal glaze just because it's safe. And a normal glaze up here. And then we also need some housing. Ah, uh, we don't want to block that. I've messed up already. Well, whatever. And we certainly want to make a crude workstation. There we are. Rain mill. Uh, let's wait on that. We don't need the flower until we can actually use it. Beavers. I'm going to use this little shortcut. There we go. Oh yeah, I should tell them what to cut. go and we may as well lay out some stuff here the things that don't hurt us to do good and what do we get cornerstone filling dish forage production increases by plus one every 150 units of drizzle water produced hmm that's interesting 
I don't think anybody that we have likes porridge, though. Top 10 pit tips on how to cook more efficiently by Sahilda. Gain 10 jerky for every 10 pies produced. Mmm, okay. And gain 5 pigments for every 10 insects produced. What strange options. I'm gonna hold off on that. I don't I don't need any of those right now. We might go for the pies. Uh, pies. Okay, these guys don't like pies either. And I'm, I'm right in remembering that these... Oh, they do... Ah, harpies do like pie. Alright, so we're not against going for pie then. And that gets us 10 jerky as well, which might cover someone. If we get lizards, they might like jerky. Alright. We'll take Sahilda's secret cookbook and aim for pies. We have flour, actually. So I think maybe, uh... I would imagine flour is used in pies. The guild. Uh, keep the beavers happy above 16. We're not quite there. And we would get some parts and some beavers and some roots. Or deliver 10 planks. We'd get more parts, some fabric, and some bricks. That seems a lot more useful. Two beavers is nice, but uh, I'd rather have more parts and stuff. Also, it's easier to complete, I think. Objective. Two woodcutters camps and wood. Well, we are certainly on our way there. Uh, we could deliver 30 wood. Hmm. Open two glaze. Okay, these are both very easy. Okay, so again, the steel shovels, steel pickaxes. We didn't make use of that uh, last time we took it, but it comes with tools. I like tools. This comes with parts. These are both good options. They're both easy to, to do. This one consumes fewer resources, so let's take this. And events completed. Complete any two glade events. Easy. We get some tools, we get some planks, we get some people. Perfect. Or two glade events and three building materials. We would get more people. We would get parts instead of tools. We would get jerky instead of planks. I'm going for this just because I don't want to bother with building materials. I'm, I haven't been into building the crates of things. Packs of whatever. We have already opened one of these. Did that count? That did not count towards our glades, but that's okay. I'm not a big deal. We can move this over. And what do we have? We have some insects. Oh, did I just cover up some stuff here? I hope not. Oops. Uh, we can actually get some roots and mushrooms and stuff gathering. I, I should have started that. If I could remember where it is. So here's some reeds. We'll need that for clothes. Hmm. We don't have anything for making clothes yet. Yeah. Herbalist camp. We'll just build it. And a... Uh, sorry. Foragers. Foragers camp. Just these three. And what is this? Trader found. Wow. That was quick. Well, we don't have anything to trade you. Makeshift water tank increases the tank capacity for every type of rainwater by 50. That's actually really cool. Uh, we're not going to make use of it, but that's that would be nice to have if we were able to. A book by the renowned Stormwalker, Per Von Runebeek. Lowers hostility by 50. That's quite good. But we don't have the goods to trade for it. Too bad. Now, what could we trade for? We could trade for some tea, for some fabric. We can make fabric on our own. You know what? I don't think we need to trade for anything. We don't have anything to trade. So, that's that. Uh, meat and reeds. We have some insects over here. Cool. Now, can... Oh, here. We should put somebody in this. And we can move this over here. Start opening those glades. Um... Oh, did I mark this off? I don't think I did. There we go. And I may have messed up here. Mark another tree just in case. Oh, and I forgot to click on times three. Let's do that. We only have one person, so we'll have to wait. Light as a feather. Harpy fire keepers can teach villagers how to be more nimble and agile. Global carrying capacity is increased by five. What? Uh, obelisk. So this thing decreases hostility. That's pretty cool. Or we could get some arrows, some pottery, some crystallized dew. Those are useful resources. We just opened something else as well. A uh, small abandoned cache. We'll hold on to that. 
Oh, oh, then again, it does have coats. And reeds for more coats. That may be a good one to take, actually. I think we'll open this one up. It makes our people happy. Um, is what she said. We'll keep take a beaver out just so that we have somebody to build things. Not that we need to keep building. Uh, why are you... Oh, I didn't click it. Sorry. Actually, yeah, let's just send the beaver over to help out with that. And... We'll wait till we have some more people. So we have some things built. That's good. How are we doing on wood? 31. Uh, rude workstation going... Okay, hold on. What was this? So, light as a feather. Harpy fire keepers can teach villagers how to be more nimble and agile. Global carrying capacity is increased by 5. The herbalist camp. Oh, it's in the... Okay. So we have plus 5... Oh, fire keeper! The hearth person! No way! Oh! Okay. So, global carrying capacity. So if I build more hearths and put other, other harpies in those, does that repeatedly increase my carrying capacity? I, that seems kind of crazy if it does. No, probably not. Probably not. But then, does that... Does that mean each species has a bonus? We are going to temporarily change this guy out. Beaver fire keepers know a lot about different burning techniques. Fuel burns 20% longer in hearths. Cool. Okay, that's really neat. Well, we're going to put the harpy back in because I prefer to have the carrying capacity, but that's that's really cool. We could get some coats. Ah, we got lizards. Lizards is our third species. I don't know how I feel about that. I was hoping for humans just for the coats to be useful. Um, they're less useful if only two of our three species like them. They're still good, though. Now, lizards do like meat, and we do have some meat to collect, so we could pick them up. I think I would rather just stick with these two for the time being. Uh... We also get more people that way, to be perfectly honest. We get some coats with them. We'll take this. And we can put, uh, put one person here. One person here. And the obelisk, we're going to just put that off until later. We don't need to do it right now. Choose a cornerstone. Oh, I'm sorry. From the ashes. Oh, this one. One wildfire essence for every two completed dangerous or forbidden glade events. That, again, that just doesn't seem like super rewarding. It's not difficult to achieve, but it's not terribly exciting. The woodcutter's prayer. Okay, okay. Plus one to wood production, but you lose all stored fuel. Uh, this would be the time to take it. Depends on how much fuel we have. Hang on. I'm going to check that. But uh, relatives of your villagers send gifts for treating their family members well. Get 40 water skins for every full reputation point obtained through high resolve. You know what? We might take that because we have something else. Oh, what? Ethereal? No, I don't want to unpause. What? Which of these? Oh, this is ethereal. This cornerstone option will disappear if you decide to unpause the game before choosing it. Oh, that's to make sure that you, the player doesn't go and like use up all their fuel and then and then pick it. Interesting. Okay. How much fuel do we have? We have 59 wood, 6 coal, 10 sea marrow. Yeah, I don't want to throw these things away. It's not a ton, but also plus one to wood production is not super important to me. Uh, I can also just like move this guy over here. Sorry. Oh, I guess they were working on that one. Anyway, hang on. Yeah, okay, you guys can finish that. Sorry. Just, I'm getting in the way. Uh, Cornerstone, let's take the family gratitude. Sorry, uh, I went out of this because we wanted to check. Uh, yeah, increases reputation gain from resolve by 100%. So we definitely want to be focusing on keeping our resolve high. And this just, this just further... Um, rewards us for doing that. We get 40 water skins for every full reputation point. Yeah, let's take it. Family gratitude. And uh, we might be looking into wine stuffs. What did I take? Did I take... Uh, I did not take the distillery. Oh, I took the kiln, right? Hmm. Oh, well. Too bad. 
we can move this guy. Cool. Keep opening them glades, please. Now we have some meat. We'll not worry about the meat until we actually have lizard people. And a herbless camp. We can put a fairy in there. Oh yeah, there you go. A fairy. Sorry, a her uh, harpy. So the harpies are efficient at that. Good. And they've got some berries down here as well. Nice. Breed fields. Alright, alright. We're doing alright. Uh, three impatience. Not good. We need to make our people happy. Oh, oh, oh. Orders. Oh, we've completed orders. How about that? So, there's no need to rush this. Here's, here's my thinking. We could pick up cornerstones that give us bonuses when we gain reputation. Or is that only the starting bonuses that were given, doing that for us? Maybe there's no need. Now, trading 10 planks is detrimental. Maybe we want to hold off until we have more planks. Uh, let's pick some more orders. So, building materials, crops. Uh, these are all requiring some packs of things. Uh, 40 coats is pretty cool. Ooh. Plus three to harpies resolve. I think we want to do this one. This is worth it. We'd get three harpies and plus three to harpies resolve. And they have a pretty low threshold for happiness. So that's great. We're happy with that. And then packs again. Now we're going to be building these packs anyway for the harpy thing. So now it's not as, or I guess it was building materials, right? Not trade goods, but uh, either, either one of these requires trade goods. So I guess we're doing packs. All packs of goods are produced 33% faster. Oh my goodness, gain plus one to production yields of all, for all packs of goods. Okay, maybe we're focusing on that a little bit. Traders will arrive 15% quicker. Hearts and villagers. I do normally prefer these rewards, but I think we're being pushed in certain directions, so let's go there. We'll follow through with that. Now, to make packs of goods, we need a makeshift post. Yeah. Packs of crops and packs of building materials. We can't get packs of trade goods from that. Packs of building materials. Okay. So we'll need to keep an eye out for the packs of building materials. Of, uh, of trade goods. Excuse me. And we also need a house. Now, we are still in drizzle season, right? Yep. Drizzle. Oh, new glade. What is this? Okay, so we could make a farm here. Now we can also get some people... Hey, if we had food, we would be happy to give you guys some food so you join us, but we don't have food. Sorry. Uh, a little bit of a catch-22 there. If we had the food, we'd give it to them to get the people, but we can't give the food to them because we don't have the people to make the food. Hmm. Now, our woodcutters camp. Let's move them down here and finish that off. Now, these guys are still working on this. Yeah, it's not time to do a dangerous glade yet. And an obelisk again. Interesting. We get oil, herbs, and pottery. We have some meat in here. We have a good amount of meat and insects. Skewers could be useful. Do we have... Oh, what's the... Oh, yes. Every time I see hydrant, I'm like, oh, what's that? And then, yeah, it's for the blight rot, which we don't deal with just yet. Um, what are the benefits of leveling up your hearth? Encampment level 1. Plus 2 to global resolve. Yeah, we want to do that. So let's build four comfort decorations. I should do this a lot sooner. In fact, I think a single park counts as a... Uh... Here, let's put it right there. Is that good? Does that get in the way at all? So, people's resolve is doing perfectly fine. We do want to bring it up, because that would start getting us reputation, which we do need to start doing. Our Queen's Impatience is growing. And make sure post. Let's put uh, Bee Burner. We don't need packs of provisions. We just want crops and building. Now, that's a bummer. We get two, but it takes... Ew. Okay. This costs a fair amount. Now, what do we get here? So, newcomers, 
Probably orders? Three minutes. Okay. We got some... Wait a second. Oh, we can't afford the flanks. Yeah, okay. Alright. Secure trail. Royal Stormwalkers secured the trail to your settlement. Newcomers will arrive 25% quicker. That's nice. Silent looting. Your scouts have learned how to be cautious when looting abandoned caches. Every open cache lowers hostility by 15 points. Pretty good. Sorry, I just gotta check something. Abandoned caches. Well, we don't have many around here, so that's not great. But by saying open, does that mean only one of the two options? I don't know what the other option is. Uh, Vineyard Town. This settlement specializes in wine production. Gain plus one to Beaver Resolve for every 70 wine produced. Pretty good. If we were producing wine. Uh, but what's interesting is for every reputation point we get from Resolve, we gain wine skins. Water skins, which we can use for wine, I believe. So let's go with this. We can't produce wine yet. I really wish I'd taken that distillery, but maybe we'll get an option soon. We need some reputation. So we are drizzle season, right? Yeah. Let's, oh, get some people, of course. So again, I'm kind of against gaining lizard people right now, although that's probably wrong of me. I think I should get some lizard people because we do have meat to gather and, uh, and it would give us some coats, which is nice. Hmm. Or we just stick with the harpies and beavers. Now, let's keep sticking with the beavers and harpies. Yeah. Now, we want to complete the order. This will get us some hap... Not happiness. It's uh, building... Building blueprint. That's what I was thinking. Small farm. Good. Okay, we did want that. Forager's camp. Fine. Plantation. Okay, here's a thought. Plant fiber and berries. Uh, If we're making wine, we probably want berries. So maybe the plantation is the right choice here. It's interesting. We got all three options for, uh, for fertile grounds. Maybe we want a plantation over a small farm. We do have the option of making flour, but I, I know you can make flour from some other ingredient as well. I just don't remember what that ingredient is. Oh, 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 hold on. We don't need to make pipes. That's a waste of time. Uh, we can use reeds. And we're not going to use stone for bricks right now. All right. So I want to check... Basically, I want to check what we can use to make flour. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness, you can right-click it and it gives you the... Holy crap, that's so good. Okay, so grain, mushrooms, and roots. That's a bummer. Let's check what we can use to make wine. Oh, we can't check it here, but if we check the distillery... Or the brewery. No, not the brewery. Where is the distillery? Or the wine anything. Distillery, there we go. Why isn't it? Oh, it is alphabetical. <laughs> I, I'm just kind of stupid. The cellar. Oh, the cellar is the other thing. Okay, so we can put waters. We can put wine in water skins. It takes three water skins for one wine, though. Oh, for, for ten wine, I see. Uh, reeds? What? You can make wine out of reeds. And out of mushrooms. Gross. Ew. Uh, berries is the obvious one. So, our choice is between biscuits and wine right now. I think we're going with the wine. So we'll take the plantation for the berries. And it gets us plant fiber. That's helpful. Yep. Making a plantation. Let's place one of those. And there's just the one spot up there, right? Yeah. Uh, perfect. And we'll put some farm fields here. Good. That is very good. So we'll start getting some berries and some plant fiber from it. Which is nice for clothes and wine. Now, these guys like their 
luxury. Was it that the heart? No, 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 no. I did not mean to click that. I did that before as well. Uh, biscuits, jerky, pie. Hmm. I probably should have... I, I should have gone for the farm. I don't know why... Well, I do know why. It's because I got the cornerstones for other things. But that was probably a mistake. Alright. Too bad. Mistake made. We will put two farmers in. And... We don't have any food for you guys. Well, we do have some food for you guys. Do we grab these guys right now? Mushrooms? It doesn't say that we're low on food, so... Uh... Wait, what? How do we end up with two there? I didn't... Okay, yeah. Oh! It's because I thought I was... <laughs> I misclicked before. Okay. I thought I was placing them in the plantation I was doing in the small encampment. Good. Now, we have some new orders to choose from. Whoa! Have at least eight harpies. Uh, we can do that. We're already there. And need for jerky fulfilled. Oh, okay. We would get more berry production. That's good. 30 incense. That's good. And more harpies. That's nice. Harmony. Have at least 10 harmony decorations. We can do that. Plus one to production yields for all packs of goods. Oh, we're already kind of going for that, right? So, oh, and we get some biscuits too. Ooh. Berry production or packs of goods? Can I choose the other thing first? Ah, uh, see what else we get. So this one might be tough because we don't have a way to actually make trade goods. Smithy, lumber mill, and weaver. We would like to get the weaver. Uh, yeah, we would definitely like to get the weaver. Oh, we just need to make packs of crops now. And we would get Harpy Clan support. So do we go in on this one here where we, we make trade goods? It does require one of those three buildings. The Smithy, the Lumber Mill, and the Weaver. We'd be fine to get a Lumber Mill. We'd be happy to get a Weaver. And the Smithy? I actually don't remember what you can do in the Smithy. We also... Oh, we do have a way to make jerky. The kiln. We could get some use out of the kiln, actually. And harpies like... Wait, harpies and lizards like jerky. So we probably should build the kiln and just start making some. I think we'll go for this. It's more reliable that we'll get something out of it. Uh, so keep the peevers resolve of 26. That's not happening anytime soon. Deliver 40 ale and have a tavern. That is so specific. But look at what you get. You get a bunch of ale and plus ale production. Oof. I don't think we can guarantee we'll get a tavern, though. Plus one to roots production. Oh, that's so tough. A tavern. Well, we're aiming for wine already, right? And we'll have the water skins coming in, hopefully, by keeping our people happy. Let's, let's, let's take this, just in case. If we get a tavern, then we're happy. Um... Any orders we can fulfill? We're almost there on the packs of crops. In fact, let's tell them not to bother with the packs of building materials for the time being. Uh, you can use any of these. And... Oh, we've got... We have a lizard person. Hang on. First, shelter. Cannot have our people out in the cold. And then we want to build a, uh, a forging, a trapper's camp. That's what I was thinking. Trapper's cap for the meat. We don't have a ton of meat around here, actually. But we'll have some. And then a kiln, because we want to make jerky. We don't have anything else that makes jerky, right? It's just the kiln. Yeah. So we will put this up here. Good. We should probably open up a blade. Oh, hey, look, they're already working on that one. Uh, any small blades we can open? This one over here. Wait a second. These guys... 
can move up this way. And that's it for that, right? So we just have dangerous glades around us. Oh, we got this these small ones right here. Did I mess up on them? Yeah, I think I did mess up on that again. What is this? Oh, they already got it. That was fast. And then that's it for the small glades around them. So another encampment. We could get more people. Another fields. That's good. Let's just build that right away. Plantation. And uh, farm fields. Very good. And then we will move this guy down over here. We'll just keep the two woodcutters together. Oh, we do have some clay. Oh, we have some, some uh, sea marrow as well. I didn't notice that. Cool. How are we doing on wood? 84 wood. We're doing very well. Now, here comes the storm. 6, 6, and 11. We are doing fine. Queen's Impatience is growing, and that's not good for us. We are not doing so well. Oh, unlock trade routes by buying the Dim Square Level 1 upgrade in Spoiler City. Cool, so there's a button for it there. Huh. Now, what do we have here? We have mushrooms, sea marrow, and a small abandoned cache. This has copper. That's pretty good. And copper bars. Okay, that's not bad. We could trade for reputation. We really want to make our people happy. So these guys like jerky. That's great. Whoops. Should probably get them working on it. Uh, you can work on the jerky. Don't worry about the... Here, we'll just like boost the... Jerky making. And bricks and coal. We'll put the coal above that. So five wood makes five... Or ten wood makes five coal. Efficient fuel. Yeah, I don't know how efficient it is, but that's fine. Low on food. Not good. And our lizards are going to be happy. Nope, they need a little bit more. They're aiming for 13. Small forger's camp is out. There's one roots over there. Oof. Okay, we're going to be struggling on food, I think. And what is this guy? Oh, we never put anybody in the trappers. Specialization is... What is this? Meat production. Oh, I don't think anybody has that. So, they'll start working on the meat. And we don't have the plantation built because we don't have any planks. Okay. So we can choose a cornerstone. Safe haven. Minus 40 to hostility for every hearth upgraded to level neighborhood. Uh, I forgot to continue doing that. Exploration expedition. Uh, minus 5 to global resolve, but plus 15 to global resolve for 5 minutes. That was huge. That was just so incredibly amazing last time. I think we have to take it. Ancient pack. The cost of knowledge can be very high. You can see the content of undiscovered glaze, but discovering dangerous or forbidden glaze kills one villager. We are not taking that. Exploration expedition is the way to go. It's overall just plus 10 to global resolve as long as we keep discovering glaze, which we kind of want to be doing anyways. In general. Uh, let's... Take our way into that glade. There we are. So we'll get that, and our guy's happiness is going to jump up, and we'll start gaining reputation for it. That's perfect. Oh, newcomers. Sorry. Uh, we have... Coats, I guess. Coats, but fewer people. Or just meat. I mean, we're making jerky. What am I saying? Let's pick the meat. Yeah. Keep our people happy and fed. Uh, this guy should be working on jerky using meat. And he can use wood. Just wood. What was that sound? We got some... Oh, the glade. Oh, here we go. We found a bunch of buildings. A kiln. Ironic. Uh, we don't need another kiln. So what we will do is actually salvage it for meat and coal. Very good. A weaver. Yes! Yes! This is good. This is not what I was thinking. I thought I was thinking of the cloth here. This just produces fabric. Okay. Still good. Still happy to have that. Bundles, reason, packs of luxury goods. 
Uh, okay, that's not what I was thinking of. It's still good. It's still good. We're happy to see it. Uh, smelter. Smelters make copper bars. Right. Okay, and they can make biscuits. Ooh. We have the ability to make flour. We can make flour from... I've forgotten. What can we make flour from? Flour from uh, grain, mushrooms, and roots. None of which we really have. Eh, too bad. A fishman cave. Okay, so fishmen witches have prepared a special surprise for anyone trying to break into the cave. It spawns three fishman totems. I don't know what that is. And then this spawns more totems. But we get reputation for doing it. Or we can go over here for mushrooms, meat, and planks. I think I prefer that. Oh, but it would cost us some fancy foods. Okay, 22 out of 22 stone. We could do that. Hmm. We'll have to see how the jerky production goes, but I think people are going to want to consume it. Uh, can we produce jerky more quickly, please? And our guy who is gathering meat... Let's add another one there. Now, we also have a medium abandoned cache. We would rather use our tools for that. Oh. Then again. That's a pretty good reward. That's a pretty good reward. Yeah. So there's some good stuff here. I am happy to see this stuff. Just don't have a whole lot in the way of resources. We can use some reeds. Perfect. Okay. Send somebody to take care of that. Good. And, uh, because we don't need another kiln. We already have one. The smelter. I don't think we're going to go for this. One star biscuits and then copper bars. Eh. I think we'll just go for the coal and the basket of biscuits. <laughs> we can do that quite easily. So, one of you and one of you. Investigate that, please. And we are going to have to hold off and think about this one. Yes, we can use all of our stone to chase it away. I would rather bribe it. Huh. I would definitely prefer to bribe it, but that's going to be costly in, in terms of jerky there. Which we don't have a plethora of. Uh, packs of luxury goods and reeds, but we'd rather just restore this for the plank. Like, just cost some planks and then we have that. What is this waiting on? Stuff. Stuff that we do not have. Packs of crops. Oh, hold on. Oh, we don't need... Oh my goodness. Yeah, just get out of there. We don't need to be... Oh, what a waste. We didn't need to be doing that at all. Um, I should have paid attention to that. So, we are not during a storm right now. So let's complete these. We'll get some reputation. Which gives us some buildings blueprints. Oh yeah, Harpy Harpy Resolve. Perfect. These are awesome. So we'll do that. We get some Harpy Resolve. Ironically, we could complete this one as well because we now have the planks. I'd rather hold on to the planks and do some other stuff with it. We can do that some other time. Uh, Alright, we got two blueprints. Let's see what we can do with these. A scribe produces scrolls and ale. Huh? Why does a scribe produce ale? Cooperage produces barrels. We don't need that. Uh, we have, we'll hopefully have wine skins coming in, water skins coming in. Flour, barrels, packs of provisions. Um, yeah, we're not going to make use of those. Lumber mill, three stars for planks. We can make use of that. I don't mind having that. Um, I think we'd take that. Packs of trade goods, we don't need to restore the other building then. All right, lumber mill it is. Oh, sorry, yeah, another blueprint. The press produces oil. A cellar produces wine. I think that's all we need, right? Oh, and the clothier produces coats. Why couldn't we have these split between the last one and this one? And then ironically, a bakery with the biscuits and the pie. Uh, okay, so coats would be good for two people. Wine is actually only good for one, but we're kind of wanting to focus on wine. Let's have a look. So, so wine is obviously good for these guys. It's not good for these guys. And pie. Oh, these both like pie. Pickled goods. Jerky. Religion. Religion. Interesting. And skewers. 
Ah, we don't have any good overlap. So we're like aiming for wine, even though it only helps our one set of guys as beavers. What was it that we got from it? Uh. Oh, we should probably hang on just before I forget. I always get distracted so easily. But let's open up another. Sorry, let's open up another glade here. So we don't lose our bonus. And wine. Okay, so 40 water skins for every full reputation obtained by high resolve. We're now going up at point 11, which is something. It's not amazing, but, but we're getting there. And vineyard. That's what it was. Plus one beaver resolve for every 70 wine produced. So we definitely want to be producing wine. It's free happiness. We'll take it. All right. Now, uh, seller. You can put that right there. And we needed... No, we have that for flour, which we're not going to be using yet. A lumber mill. There we are. Oh my goodness. And we are out houses. Oh, out of houses. We're... <laughs> We're not a bunch of outhouses. Uh, I don't know if it's bad to like surround this thing. I think people just walk through buildings. I don't know. I haven't really figured that out. So we're building one extra house over top of what we actually need. And now that we have two people who are happy, we're getting plus 0 0.57 per minute. Doesn't that mean like after two minutes we get one? Isn't that incredibly fast? Maybe this is the way to win the game. Uh, another thing. So the bathhouse. A place where villagers can fulfill their need for treatment. Passive effects. Regular baths and good health. A temple. Religion and education. Beaver house and a leather worker. We don't need a leather worker. So hold on. I want to check this. Treatment. So if we had tea, we'd get treatment. Uh, regular baths. For every evening, villagers gather to talk, bathe, and strengthen their bonds with one another. Villagers with a low resolve will leave the town 30% slower. Eh, we don't plan on having low resolve. Good health. Regular baths improve everyone's well-being. Global production rate is 25% faster. Ooh, that's really good. Uh, but what does the temple have? It has religion and education. Sacrament of the Flame. Every 300 seconds spent sacrificing goes... Oh, that's what it was. Hostility is reduced by minus 20. We're not really doing that. So, I'm not excited by either of those. Beaver house makes our beavers happy. I think that's reliable. We'll do that. And we can... Well... Uh, we can build beaver house. We're going to focus on food right now. So, the lumber mill. We'll put beavers in there for sure. And, in fact... We'll tell you not to bother with the planks because the lumber mill can handle it. Scrolls. We don't need scrolls right now. Pigment and... Oh, pigment and wine. Interesting. So we could produce a bunch of wine, use that wine to make scrolls. We're out of wood. What? Oh, because we just built all those houses. That's fine. And then those scrolls could have gone to the temple for uh, education. Okay. So that was maybe a missed opportunity. I wasn't aware of that. Uh, makeshift post is still not doing anything for us. Uh, wait, have I forgotten this for a long time? Or, or am I okay? Like, did this already happen? Hang on. I totally blanked on this. We have some tools. We could use eight tools for one reputation. That's actually a really good exchange rate, by the way. I would love to get those mushrooms in the meat. Uh, ale, hang on. We had something that said to get a bunch of ale. That was if we had a tavern, though. Yeah. And also, we had to deliver 40 ale, so we needed the ale to make the ale. Um, we need to make jerky. How are we not making jerky, guys? Hold on. What's, what's going on here? Make that jerky. We're out of food. 
Why? Why are we out of food? How did we not make any jerky in all that time? What are you people doing? Just eating it? The cellar, we haven't assigned anybody. Uh, this would be, brewing would be humans normally. We'll put those people in. So, wine skins, barrels, sure. And we can use reeds. Yum. Hang on. Oh, I never put anybody in this plantation. We're eating all the berries. Yeah, all right. We're, we're struggling a little bit on food here. And it's causing issues. We need more meat. We need people to stop eating the meat. That's where our consumption control comes in. Stop eating the meat, and we'll make jerky with it. There you go. And the berries, that's okay. You guys can eat berries. I don't mind that. Complex foods. Okay. 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 Uh, we have... Yeah, we need to make more of that. Sea marrow and roots. Do we have, like, foragers that need... Oh yeah, here we go. More mushrooms, please. And trappers working hard. The small foragers. I had some people there. Woodcutters again. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, hang on. Another trader. So this person... Oh, what do you have? Ways of the Forest. Oh, yeah, we've got a bunch of amber just from our passive thing that gives us amber every year. A book by the renowned Stormwalker lowers hostility by 50 points. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, advanced press, plus two to scrolls production. Hmm. If we had picked that temple, I would definitely go for that. Let's buy some coats. We don't have a way to make coats. So I wouldn't mind... Hang on. What else do we have here? So... Uh, oh, we have extra packs of crops. We sell those. They're worth one amber each. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. How much are coats? Coats are incredibly cheap. Wonderful. Sea marrow... Sea marrow is expensive. Hmm. Bricks are pretty useful. Stone. You know what? Let's buy stone. Alright. We're going to buy the stone. We have the stone now. And we are going to complete this using stone. Wait, did we not do the trade? Do our guys have to, like, gather it? Hold on. Did we not do the trade? What did I do? Did I just like click cancel on it? Oops. We want all the clothes. We want as much stone as we can get. Thirteen stone is pretty good. Click trade. There we go. Uh, and also we still have. You know what? Minus fifty hostility is nice. Yeah. Thank you. We could buy more stone. Actually, hold on. Uh, we're not going to trade a whole extra amber just to get one more of these. There you go. You can you can keep that one stone. Maybe someone in the next settlement will want it. Uh, we got Wandering Merchant. Hang on. Uh, reed Fields and Worm Tongue Nest. Nice. As for the jerky, how are we doing on that, guys? So, let's make another trapper. Small tra trappers, we've got one, two. We are apparently not low on food anymore. That's very good. And we're going to make our people upset. Are we? We're getting 0.33 per minute. I don't understand how this works. We have two species that are happy. 0.36 is going up. Is it based on how happy they are? Something like that? Look at that. Harpies are super happy. Wow. Go team. Uh, orders. What is this? Have at least one hearth upgraded to the level neighborhood. We can certainly do that. I just keep forgetting to do it. We should already have it done. 
Discover two dangerous or forbidden glades within 210 seconds each. Progress will reset if the time between discoveries exceeds the limit. But that reward is no good for us. We don't care about the pipes. Reinforce saw blades plus plank production. That's useful. Okay, we're taking this. Uh, and then... Oh. Oh my goodness, we just sold off our packs of crops. Oh, wow. That's a pretty good reward. Have 16 lizards. We are nowhere near that. So, oh, the meat production and the insects. We'll do this one. We'll do this one. Eventually, we'll worry about packs of crops and stuff. Actually, where are we on farm fields? 20, is that 23? I think it's a 23. Now, the jerky is something we'd like, so we're going to turn off jerky consumption. Stop it. Wait, it says we have 19. Wow. Get to work, guys. There we are. Well done. So that's nice. Uh, we have biscuits. Oh, uh, beaver house. Let's build a beaver house. That'll make them happy. Good. Small forges camp needs to be moved. We have some roots over here, and that's it. All right. And what was this? Okay, the weaver, which produces fabric. I think we're doing fine on fabric. We have four. We're not doing fine on fabric. We could certainly be doing better. Uh, but at the same time, that's okay. Don't mind. Now, here's a cache we could use tools on. But we could get more meat. So we're going to go for the more meat. That is a good thing to get. And for this, they are working on it. Good job, guys. So we can let people eat jerky again. And what we'll do is we're going to turn off insects for this. They're going to use just meat. And we can use coal. Sure. Choose a blueprint. Yes, I will. Smelter? Copper bars? Yeah, we don't care. Brickyard? Don't particularly care for that. Smokehouse for better jerky production! Uh, the choice is clear. And I've already clicked it. We can get rid of... Well, we'll build that there. We don't need the kiln. Well, we'll finish building that, of course. Harvester's camp. Let's move that down here. Oh, up here. This is more stuff up here. Not as efficient, because they have to travel further, but... That's fine. Uh, this guy can move... <laughs> We never put anybody in that trapper's camp. Put him down here. And we will put a lizard person in this. They are efficient. Hang on. We do have lizard people in this one, right? No, we don't. Oops. Take the harpies out. Where do we have our lizard people? Well, right now we have them in this. We'll take him out. And put him in here. Oh, put him in here. There we go. And the lumber mill's working on its stuff. All right, things are going pretty well. Do we need to open a blade? Joy of Discovery, still in effect, but we should probably open a blade anyway. That's a forbidden blade. We're going to hold off on that. I'm not feeling super confident. And this woodcutter can move over here. This woodcutter can move up here. And what did we get? We got a cornerstone. Exploration contract. I love this one. 20 reeds and 20 clay for each discovered glade. That is so nice. Herbs and root production is increased by a plus one for every 75 biscuits produced. We're not producing biscuits, so that's too bad. And five pigment for every 10 insects produced. Uh, that's kind of cool. You can make scrolls. Now we're going with the exploration contract. 20 reason the 20 clay is a pretty big deal. Just being able to supply our bricks, brick production with it. Five seconds until we get that. Very well done, guys. 
can get some copper. I don't feel the need to get copper. We could build another hearth. Here we go. We just opened this. Ooh, a shipwreck. Merchant shipwreck. So the bad thing is the captain is the last to leave the ship. Destroys a random cornerstone in your possession. That's terrible. I don't want that. So we need to get this done. We would get some ale, we'd get some eggs, and we'd get some sea marrow production. But it would cost us coats. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. Let's just use our six tools to gain one reputation. That's a very good exchange rate. And what is this? The storm wasn't gentle, even to a royal flagship. When this effect is active, hostility is increased by plus 165. Oh well, we're doing that. So we want to get it done as quickly as possible. To reduce the amount that the hostility is impacting us. Now, um, oh, newcomers. Plus three, plus three. Well, I mean, these are our happy people, so I think we want to take them now. They, they're super happy with all the jerky we're providing. Yeah. And a large abandoned cache has a bunch of pigment, some parts. That's good. Some barrels. Meh. Okay. Worm tongue nests and berries. We need more houses. We need more houses. We should build a hearth. Out here, perhaps. There's a bunch of little small areas around it. We will do this out here. Oh. Oh, it's a small hearth. Whatever. Okay, we can just put it over here. No, 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 no. That's fine. We'll do that. And I also th realized we wanted to get a level two place, right? Look at this go. We're not doing very well on our orders, but we're keeping people happy, and that's more important. Neighborhood, plus 10% to global production speed. Wow, super good. So, four more comfort decorations and four aesthetic de decorations. So, another park. Very s simple and easy to do. And a garden. I'll put that out over here. Now, what do we have? Harpy house. Pretty good. A press, we don't need. A herb garden, we don't need. Provisioner, we don't need. So Harpy House it is. Yep. Which means we can put a Harpy House out here. How are we doing on fabric? I don't think we're doing too well. Six. So maybe we will rebuild the weaver here. Build that as quickly as you can, please. We'll get some more clothes. Or not clothes, we'll get some more fabric. The herbalist camp is out. We can bring them down here to some berries. Or to some mushrooms. Let's go for the mushrooms. Also, we should cut down some more trees. Let's move this guy over here. And we'll move this guy over here. We go now what is this harpy house needs a hearth right we do have two wild viruses we need more planks did i i did not put a yeah yeah there's someone in the mill we'll put another one We're running out of planks we're running out of wood overall because we just built a bunch of things right uh where are our beavers being used oh we can just check it like this this is great how nice. How lovely. Uh, the Fishman Cave. Take some guys out of that. Oh. They would be getting us planks. But we'll put one of them into here. Hang on. Take him out as well. So, beavers into the woodcutters, please. We need more wood. And then a small forager's camp. Take him out. And I don't know why I took him out. A weaver, these guys are working on this, right? We need more planks, though. Of course. Oh. No, we have that. I don't remember. I don't know why I took them out. Here. We'll, uh... We'll, we'll put a lizard in here. Whatever. Harpy house. Waiting on stuff. Oh, yeah. And I need to mark to cut down this way. Cut down this way. We'll wait on that. Yeah. Good. 
And that was the storm. We are not super happy at the moment. I would like to be getting more reputation right now. Did we complete this? 47 seconds left. So once we're done that, our hostility should drop a bunch and then I'm sure we'll be happy from there. A, the Weaver, they are idle because we don't have planks, of course. Uh, rain Punk Drill. Okay, so this would get us coal deposits. That's nice. Or we could just straight up get some oil vessels. And copper bars as well for whatever good that does. Hmm. All right. And we have just some stuff. Oh, there's some good resources in there. Meat. Fishman Cave. We didn't put anybody back. I am a goop. We'll get a bunch of planks from that. So we could open this up. We'll just wait a couple minutes before we do that. Oh, what's going on here? The smokehouse. I didn't put anybody in the smokehouse. Ugh. Okay, take these guys out of the kiln. Put them in the smokehouse. There we go. Now we can use wood. We can use coal. That's fine. We'll make that. Incense, we're not going to worry about. We can use... Nah, don't worry about... No, nope. don't worry about pottery. Just jerky. Just make all the jerky. So everybody has jerky. Uh, the beavers can put up with not having jerky. Brain punk drill. Yeah, I think we're going to disassemble it. We'll, we'll hold off on that. We don't need to do that right now. We're getting planks, which hopefully will let us build this. Turn the priority up on that. Small Forges Camp has no deposits. Where is this going to go? Actually, are we out of stuff? No, we're not out of stuff. We have roots right here. Put it like that for now. And did we level up? We did. Good. Some scary sounds going on. 12 tools for one reputation is not a very good exchange. Here, you guys can start working towards that Forbidden Blade. Or, not the Forbidden. Dangerous. And a Weaver. There you are. We don't need training gear at all. We do need packs of trade goods. Pigment. Oh, we have to choose. Well, we'll put pottery in there. Oh my goodness, we can use wine skins. Water skins. We have so many. Good. We do need to tell... Okay, so... Let's check if it stacks. I don't think it stacks. Plus five. Yeah, so I think it's just plus five. So, what was the lizards? Plus five to their resolve. Because they're comfortable. Do they not have an extra bonus, though? Is that it? Yeah, oh, that seems a little weak. Oh well, we're happy with resolve. Uh, choose a cornerstone. Yeah, I will. Actually, hold on. First we'll choose... Oh, we could complete four. That's pretty cool. We have a ton of planks now. Protected trade. The forest recedes, so heavily guarded trade caravans pour into the settlement. Hostility is reduced by minus 15 points every time you sell goods worth 25 amber. Uh, calming the forest is a very interesting one. But it requires finding things with empathy options. Survivor bonding is just reliable. 10% villager speed, one global resolve. I I will I think I will pick this every single time. Unless there's something that very particularly pertains to what we're doing. What is that symbol? Low fuel. Okay. Get going on that, Mr. Lizard Man. And there we go. Perfect. Now can we level this one up? We can. More population. Oh. Yeah, we can build another house. Let's build a beaver house. And... And, uh... More harpy houses. There we are. Now, what just happened? Oh, we got a blueprint? Good. So, a cooperage, a cookhouse, carpenter... That's not great to us. And trappers... Oh, upgraded trappers camp. Yeah, we'll do that. We have two of them out there. I like that. Now, 
Uh, our people are happy. Our reputation is rising quickly. Plus one per minute. Oh my goodness. Keep it up. Uh, okay, build those houses so our harpies get happier again. Wow. And then we want to build uh, four comfort decorations. Let's do that. Put it behind this. Newcomers. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like to join our settlement? Uh, we would get some clothing. That's good. I think that's our option here, just for the clothing. We get some tools as well. Uh, we would get three more harpies, but right now, I'm looking at this. Our harpies are a little bit low happiness. Clothes would put them just above happiness. Our lizards are quite happy, so we're happy to get six more. Why are they so happy? Uh, they're the only ones without houses. We'll, we'll take it anyway. What do we need for these guys? So basic housing. Hi, we don't have that. Pickled goods, we don't have that. Jerky, we do have that. Brawling, we don't have that. Religions, cures, we just passed that up. So why... What is making them so happy, actually? Encampment level one, comfortable, joy of discovery, survivor bonding. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm not complaining. Uh, do we have a way to make skewers? Thinks we do. Does not look like it. The trapper's camp is out. But here's the thing. We just upgraded our trapper's camp, so now we can do these big ones. Yeah. A new blade. A new power is rising. Uh, farm fields. The core of the machinery is unstable and could explode at any minute. In specifically 10 minutes. Destroys everything within a 10 field radius. Holy cow. Just goes boom. Uh, we could, we could fix it, and become a decoration. Oh, and it creates clearance water. We don't care. Dual brewing. Oh, that doesn't help. If it was the other way around, that'd be amazing. Getting three wine for every fifteen ale produced. We wish it was the other way around. Too bad. Uh, copper bars, box of crystallized dew. So we're not really excited about either of these things. I guess the decoration is fine. I don't know. Whatever. But it would use up tools. We don't use tools. Yeah. Oh, and we need water for these ones. Ugh. Yeah. I guess we'll use the tools. Whatever. Oh, that was the wrong click. Tools and... <laughs> Water skins, we can afford that. Alright. Uh, yes. Somebody go work on that, please. Thank you. And, well, we're not going to have the tools for that one. Pack of luxury goods, chest of ancient tablets, and box of grain and barrels. Cool. Hold on. We only need four more reputation, I think. Oh, let's pick some. Orders. Okay, well, we can do this one super fast. Jerky fulfillment, pie fulfillment, skewer fulfillment. We can't really get those two. Uh, two amber for every six pack of trade goods to produce. That's interesting. 30 tools. Wow. Well, 30 paved roads we can certainly do. I think we have the stone for it already. And we already have some of the paved roads down from uh, the place that we discovered. Have 18 beavers. We're at 12. Nope. Deliver 25 packs of trade goods. Uh, we can start working on those. I you said that. We don't care about pickled goods. Basket of pies. Oh, that'd be nice. We'll, we'll pick this one. I don't think we'll actually complete it, but it's there. Deliver 15 packs of trade goods and some crop stuff. So where are our trade good people? Oh, the lumber mill. That's our trade goods. We could make it out of that. Sure. We don't need scrolls. I don't know why I didn't click that off. We don't need the kiln anymore. We are making jerky. That's great. I think we had something else to do with trade goods. Here we go. Trade goods over here. That's how they've been making them. And the fabric. Yeah, okay. 
Now we just discovered this. They're off to work on that. Inscribed monolith. Harmony. Counts as two decorations of its type. Cool. So if we were to build a hearth over here, we'd have a bunch of decorations right off the bat. This needs four more decorations, two more population, and four more decorations. So let's do that quickly. We can put, uh, put it like that, and put one of these right in between, and then put another house down for harpies. And we also need some more roads, right? We said we would do it. And we'll put, uh... Yeah, they just walk through the garden. <laughs> Wait, what? How are they walking through here? My villagers are using hacks. So we can put these guys up there to do that. We'd rather have the meat. Come over here. Purplest camp is out. We can move it over to some berries. Are those large berry bushes? Oh, small. Okay. A uh, small forager's camp just ran out too? Wow. Good job, all you workers, getting stuff so efficiently. Uh, we can just complete three, and we'll be done. In fact, we can complete four as well. We'll wait till the springtime. And the only reason for that is because I want my queens and patients to be as low as possible. Wait, what? What did we just open here? Uh, escaped convicts. Oh, cool. Plunderings. The convicts will not dare to attack your settlement, but they will loot whatever they can find in the forest. They destroy three random caches, prioritizing the ones in already discovered blades. That's fine. I don't, I don't care. Uh, yeah, scrolls, barrels, leather, cool stuff. Well, let's pick a cornerstone, fungal guide, mushroom production is increased. Nope, doesn't matter. Three clay per minute, a little bit late for that one. That would have been nice. Large baskets, plus 50% to amount of goods produced in the plantation. That is so specific and so good. Nice. Uh, well, let's just complete our orders then. We have, uh, let's do the harpy resolve. Boom. And the paved roads. Boom. And... So what? How did we get all these tr trade goods so quickly? Alright, we'll do that one. Sure. We'll do this one as well. Cool. Um, Prosperity 1. Collect 10 reputation points through villager resolve. What? Did we actually get 10 repu- No, we- Did we actually get 10 reputation points from villager resolve? How many- Reputation points are there total. I thought I just assumed there were 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Is it 15 ish? Wow. Two thirds of our reputation came from uh, from keeping our people happy. That is so strong. Winning game having gained at least five reputation points through resolve. Yeah. And Cycle of the Wilds discovered 20 dangerous glades in one cycle. Oh, we will get higher than that in the future, I'm sure. So 36 food stockpiles and two seal fragments. Good. Is there any value in continuing the settlement? I don't think so. But maybe for the trade routes. Maybe there's something to do with trade routes there. I don't know how that works. Alright, so did we do it? Did we... Lightstorm is almost here, so no further expeditions can embark during the cycle. Select the compass icon to finish the cycle. So did we, did we do the thing we set out to do? Yes, we did. Consequences. Cycle duration permanently increased by 8. Plus 10% citadel resources at the end of this cycle. Okay. Uh, any leftovers must be sold back to the crown. Sold back to the crown. Oh, does that mean we get more of these resources? Food stockpiles and stuff? I hope so. So now we click to end the current cycle. Cycle summary. The blight storm is coming. Your settlements have been abandoned and people are returning to the citadel. Successful towns, four. Failed towns, one. Total seal fragments, 13. Spent seal fragments, four. Can we sp spend more on other stuff? Positive modifiers finish, zero. Negative modifiers finish, two. What is that? I don't know what that means. Cycle rewards. Okay, so we finished a bronze seal. According to customs, successfully closing a seal grants you royal tax relief. You gain an additional 10% of all Citadel resources obtained during this cycle. Oh. Okay. Uh, so we got 
an extra 19, an extra 3, an extra 4. And then from selling 9 seal fragments, we got an extra 9, 4, and 3. That's not as exciting as I thought it would be. I thought we'd get a lot for having 9 seal fragments over what we needed. Uh, gathered 190. Spent 154. We have 36 to work with. Unlocked content. What is this? Pioneer's Gate. Villager speed. What is this? Oh, oh, this is the stuff we got in the smoldering city. I see, I see. All right. Experience gain the cycle, 1156. End the cycle. Whoa. Oh my. Well, this looks quite different. Oh my goodness, there's a blue seal. Oh, okay, so we're expected to do multiple seals in one run then. Go here, go here, maybe? So that's what it looks like to me. What is this? Ominous presence. Something strange is trapped beneath the ground. Gain twice the hostility each year, but every time a villager dies or leaves, hostility decreases by minus 15 points. So, okay. People die or leave and it's better for you? Gain twice the hostility each year. Huh. Weird. Statue of the Forefathers. A crumbling statue depicting an unknown species. You can choose from one fewer cornerstones. Oh, that's terrible. That's no fun. See, this creates something interesting because it's like, okay, well, if I let my people die, then I have less hostility, which makes this easier. Like, interesting balancing there. This thing's just bad. Just terrible. I don't want that. Uh, We'd get a royal resupply for doing it. Overgrown library. A remnant of a bygone... Oh, oh, I see. I'm sorry. At the end of the last cycle, in that cycle summary, it said uh, zero positive modifiers and two negative modifiers. They were referring to these. It's, it's highlighted in red. Red is bad. Bad red. That means uh, those were negative, and we did two of those. We didn't do any green ones, which we now see there are green ones. A remnant of a bygone era, where when royal archivists themselves ventured out into the wilderness in search of knowledge. One of your starting blueprint choices is replaced by a wild card. You can choose one blueprint from all unlocked blueprints. Huh? You just get to choose any blueprint you want? That is insane. How could you allow such a thing in this game? Oh, we could do it with both modifiers. And it doesn't seem to be that much more rewarding. I guess you would get two royal resupplies. Brutal, though. Wow. All right. Hey, this is great. Um, I now understand the value of that uh, royal resupply that lets you move twice as far, or an additional two. Because now you can get to seals much more easily if you're able to, like, jump, jump, jump. Okay. Let's check out this moldering city. And, uh, highest reforged seal is bronze seal. Reforging the seal increased the duration of the cycle by eight years. Right, which lets us do more within that cycle. Great. Deeds. Collect 10 reputation points. We get some XP. And we leveled up. New citadel upgrades. Explorer's Lodge. A place where villagers can fulfill their needs for brawling and education. A druid's hut. Can produce oil, incense, and coats. Didn't the press already do that? I guess with different other things, but we already had the press for a three-star oil. A ranch can produce meat, leather, and eggs. We did see that at one point. We were able to fix one up, and that was pretty cool. A reinforced road. A road reinforced with copper grants a 25% speed increase to villagers. Massive. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll use that at some point. Trade hub. The settlement is known for as a trading hub in the region. Gain one reputation point every time you sell goods worth 60 amber, while slowing the reputation gain from resolve by 50%. Whoa! All right. That is super interesting. So don't make our people happy. Just maximize our trade output. I like that. That's the kind of thing that would be really fun if you if you picked it up early. Every time you sell goods worth 60 amber. 
I like that. Friendly relations. Actually, I guess that'd be really good if you held on to everything and picked it as one of your last cornerstones. Because then you were getting reputation from Resolve until you picked it, and then you just trade for a bunch of Resolve. For a bunch of reputation. Friendly relations. Boost global resolve by one for every three levels of standing with other settlements and trade routes. Okay, I really want to figure out this trade routes thing, because there's sounds like there's some cool stuff going on. Uh, some cool things that build off of it. So, win a game having gained at least five reputation through resolve. We get a new decoration. The more eh, demand there is for beauty, decorations are used to level up the hearth. Okay. Road sign. And discover 20 dangerous glades in one cycle gets us a night fern. Nice. Uh, win a game near the fertile ground modifier. Okay, well, that's going to depend on finding a fertile ground modifier. Now, we have 64 foodstuffs. That's good, that's good. What do we have up here? Dim Square Level 3. Special discount. You gain a permanent discount of 10% on perks and blueprints sold by traders. Pretty good. Pretty good. They seem to be an average of about like 15 to 25 amber. So, yeah, like basically an expected two amber off of each perk or blueprint. That's pretty good. You gain a permanent plus 3% bonus to trader arrival speed. Nice. All traders have plus one cornerstone or blueprint for sale. All right, so this is nice. That's pretty good. Uh, Brass Forge. You can upgrade hearths to the district level. Hmm. I think we'll want to be getting that. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, we want the trade routes. Here we go. Allows you to establish trade routes with other nearby settlements. We're picking that one for sure. Uh, and when I say for sure, I mean I've already clicked it now. Pioneer's Gate level 4. Embarkation points. You gain plus 1 embarkation points. <gasps> I want that. 36 and 36. Okay. Okay, I think we're taking this now, and then we'll take that next time. Yeah. And this one's good too. Embarkation bonuses are, uh, give you 20% more resources. Wonderful. More Citadel resources. You gain 10%. Oh, 10% more Citadel resources whenever you finish a settlement. That's really good as well. Um, Reroll blueprints offered as reputation bonuses. Oh, shoot. That's really good. Oh, shoot. There's so many good options. Rain punk engines. I'm not super excited about it, but that'd be nice to have. 10% more Citadel resources. We should probably get that as soon as we can. Because then we can get more upgrades quicker. Uh, essential build. So I think these essential things means we just get them. They become ours. And we can build them right off the bat. Which means they take up less slots when picking blueprints from, uh, that we, from the random pick thing. So that is pretty good. And the permanent plus one available charge is nice. So I think these would be good to pick up. But... I want this. And what was this? Settlements start with additional five bricks. That's really good. And some different embarkation options. I don't care about those. So, oh no, I wanted this one though. Oh geez, tough choices. Citadel resources or plus one embarkation points. Oh, every villager in your settlement gets a permanent plus 2% in their walking speed. We have to take that, okay. We're, we're heading this way, and we get 20% more resources from embarkation. Yeah. The more stuff we have at the start, the quicker we can get going. I guess the main thing holding us back is the number of villagers we have, but uh, we can actually, we can get an upgrade here that says you, yeah, this one. We can just spend 12 food on this, and then we have the option to choose newcomers. So I think that is probably something we'll be picking soonish. Great, wonderful. Things are going well. 